Sorry to pull you away from the dungeon with Rick, but here's the rule book I was telling you about. I'm in the back, I'm looking at a bunch of books for Rick, and then Chum calls me out, he wants me to look at another book. These guys are all business. Can't we just go out and get a cup of coffee? So much to ask. <laughs> what do we have here? Book published in 1866 about different card games. Okay, where'd you get it? Won it in a poker game. You won a card book in a poker game? Yes, I did. All right, well, let's take a look at it then. So this is just a great example of one of those how-to books that they had in the 19th century. These things were really popular because there wasn't a great educational system. So then you get all these how-to books, how to be a gentleman, how to cook, how to clean, how to play cards. Is a book like this actually collectible? You know, it's not a first edition Huckleberry Finn, but there are people who really love collecting gambling books. So there is a market for it. The thing that's interesting about this book in particular is that there weren't actually any books on the rules of poker until 1858 that's documented. So this one at 1866 is kind of a big deal. And there are some other things going on with it that might be interesting to a collector. Las Vegas is the perfect market for this because you're going to have people who are really excited about gambling and you have professional poker players coming here all the time. They'd love something like this. So he wants 1500 bucks for this beat up old dusty book. Well, a book like this you expect to be beat up. It's gonna be heavily used. I mean, that being said, what I would place this book at if I were to give it a price, I would say 2000, maybe a little bit more. $2,000? Are you guys taking shots in the back row? <laughs> All right, wow, sounds like you got a winner here. Oh yeah. All right, well thank you. Yep. A pleasure. Chum was really surprised about how much this book could go for, but there's a whole genre of collecting gambling books, so there is a market for it. So how much do you want to get for it? She said 2000 How about 1800 I'm not going to go that high. My boss would kill me if I bought a book for $1,800 and made $200 on it, and if it sat in here for a year, there's no way I'd keep my job. I'm looking more like about 1200 That's too low. It'd be an easy sell. It's not as easy as you think. I think it is. You're in Vegas. This was the first Tom Sawyer. I could put this in this case and it would be gone tomorrow. But it's a specialized book on gambling. So give me a more realistic number that I could work with, man. 1600 If you can come down just a little bit more, maybe 1350 you know, I, I could definitely make a deal with you. you. Make it 14, you can go write it up. I think I'm gonna have to leave it on the table with you. 1375, and you can go write it up. I'm not gonna beat you up over $25. That's a deal. Lucky for me, I got a good deal on the poker book. Now I just gotta make sure Skiba doesn't eat it for lunch. 